Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about social media. What is the importance of social media to you? One of the topics that I speak about in my book Reflections from the Heart is social media and to start this video off with I would love to read you a little piece of what I wrote on social media. In this day and age, social media can be used as a handy instrument. Every status update, photo, liked post, shared article or tweet is telling the story of who you are, your personal brand. So what are you using social media for? I personally never really understood the importance of the, and the power of social media until I was crowned Miss World in December 2014. I was just crowned Miss World, I'd spent a few days in London for interviews and things like that and then I was off to South Africa for Christmas holiday and for my homecoming. I was on the plane, I didn't know of anything and when I landed in South Africa I received thousands of notifications on my phone. My phone went crazy. I just saw uh, missed phone calls, messages, Instagram messages, Facebook messages, literally everything from personal, you know, personal contacts to people I didn't know. Um, I had radio stations phoning me and I had no idea what was going on until I realized that when I won Miss World, a fake account was created for Rolene Strauss. So I didn't start off with a lot of followers and these two accounts, my account and the fake account, kind of grew simultaneously. So no one really knew who was who. And on that specific day, this fake account posted something horrible on the Instagram and Facebook accounts. And what happened was a lot of people started identifying me with what was said on that account. They started thinking of me as that person. They started labeling me as that Miss World who said that. And I realized how powerful social media really is. That you are identified, you are known for what you say on social media. And the only way I could fix that was to go through a lot of effort to get my account verified with the blue tick. So even though that was a horrible experience, and I have horrible memories from that, I've still learned so, so much. Let's imagine you have the opportunity to write a book about yourself. You're writing who you are, what you like, what you don't like, what you want to achieve in life, literally everything about you, you can write in this book. Uh, it seems like a, a very big task and a task that needs a lot of thought going into. But the reality is that we have the opportunity to write our autobiographies every single day on social media. Could you speak in front of a crowd of 50 people? What about 30 people? Even 100 or 200 people? It is quite difficult to speak in front of an amount of people like that. But I bet you, you probably have more than 50 or 100 friends on Facebook or followers on Instagram. So every single day, you are speaking to 50, 100, 200, 295,000 people. And what are you telling those people? You are basically telling them who you are. Every single day, you are writing your autobiography on social media. If I were to tell you, okay, you have this book, you have blank pages, go write your autobiography, there would be a lot of thought going into that. But we have the opportunity on social media to do just that. Your personal brand is built on social media. That's one of the ways that your personal brand is built. And you are writing and telling people who you are every single day. So social media is a weapon to create change and not a weapon of self-destruction. So we might feel like, yes, I'm writing my autobiography every single day, but what if I didn't like what I said yesterday and I deleted it? Would it change what people see about me? Maybe, but just like we can't take our words back, if I told someone something, I really can't take my words back. You can't really take something back or change something you said on social media because there's already been 50 or 100 people who read it before. So the first thing that I learned was the importance of social media with regards to telling 
story about who I am and telling my personal brand. The second part was realizing that social media can also be a weapon of self-destruction if you're constantly measuring yourself against what you feel the perfect social media persona is. We all have different views and have experienced different things on social media and I was really keen and interested to see how you saw social media and what you've experienced. So these are some of the things that you shared with me on Instagram. It's sometimes very easy to post things on social media because it feels like you're sitting there on your own, in your room, in your office and speaking to a phone or to a computer. But what we tend to forget is that on the other side of that phone, on the other side of that computer, is human beings just like us, listening and reading to what you're saying. I've realized very quickly that it is so much more powerful if you're authentic on social media and if you realize that you are who you are and you're using this account to, to display your personal brand. If I were to ask you to describe yourself in one word, what would it be? Please comment that one word below. I would love to read it. But if I were to take your name, go look for you on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, would what I see there display that one word that you feel you are. I want my social media to display that one word that I want people to see me as. I realize that I want my social media to be an instrument of change, to be a way of me writing my autobiography, to be a way of me influencing people um, on a daily basis. So after listening to this, what do you think is the importance of social media in your life?